Where should we go to eat tonight? I don't know, pizza? Pizza again, let's get something different. There's a Lebanese joint down the road. Ooh, shawarma, yay! <laughs> Welcome to Smashing Plastic, a video series about board games. My name's Sean, and today I'm gonna film one of my kids' favorites. It's called Rampage, and it tells the story of these little dinosaurs that are gonna run around this city, and they're gonna knock over the buildings, and they're gonna eat the buildings and eat the people inside. Now, Rampage was designed by Ludovic Montblanc and Antoine Bauza, and um, you might not find it in shops under the name Rampage. You might find it under the name Terror in Meeple City. And that's because uh, in the 80s there was a Rampage game, a computer game, and it was all about monsters smashing up a city, and really that's what this is about in its core. Uh, it appears to be some sort of, you know, legal action has happened, and um, it's now being distributed as Terror in Meeple City. The first step to playing Rampage is you have to set up the city. And that's the most fun part, unless you've got big banana hands like mine, then it's kind of a pain. But what you do is you stack up each of these buildings, one on top of the other, using these meeples as a base. Now, each of the meeples plays a different role in the city. There's the, uh, the red meeples, which are like the heroes, you know, the firefighters and whatnot. There's the blue meeples, which are the journalists. The green are the soldiers, the yellow blondes, black is businessmen, and gray is old folks. And that's really not important until it comes to scoring. So you know, don't worry too much about that. As you stack up the city, the next thing you do is you place these cars onto each one of the vehicles in the city perimeter, and then you set your monsters on the end, putting your feet in the bottom and your bodies on the top. Now the art direction in here is really, really cool. Uh, it, there's lots of little Easter eggs, and it's, it's, you know, it's fun, and it's, it's got a kind of a cartoony vibe to it, but it's perfect for the game that we're playing. The Easter eggs that you can find is things like this, like Captain America's shield sitting here, or you know, there's the bat symbol on some of the buildings, and there's heaps in here, and I'm not going to tell you what they all are. But keep an eye out for things like the Pokeball, or uh, Indiana Jones Whip, or the hoverboard from uh, Back to the Future. Now the next step to playing, once your city is all constructed, is you need to uh, get your monster ready. So you choose one of the colored monsters, you put his feet in one corner of the city, and you put your dude on top, but that's not it. Each monster's also got a special character. Now, the character sort of gives you bonuses when you're scoring. There's things like the imitator and seductive and the brawler. Um, each one of these you get, you, you get a couple of different little bonuses when it comes to the end of the game, when it comes to that scoring frenzy. The next thing you get is a superpower. Now, there's things like being the siren or having a long tail or having a stretchy tongue. Each of these gives you a special unique thing that you do, and it kind of kicks up the replayability a bit, but, but really not much. I mean, the core of the game is still knocking down the buildings. The last thing you get is a super secret power. These ones, you don't have face up, you have them face down, and they got to kind of take that mechanics, like uh, doing an earthquake, or uh, being a hobo, or, or being too cute. Um, just little funny little things that you can sort of spring on your opponents when they think they got you back into a corner. Now, you finish setting up the city, and you finish getting your dinosaur and all their special abilities. Now it's time to really start knocking stuff down. And so the way you do that is each player is going to do uh, they take two actions apiece, and then they're going to eat. Now, the four actions you've got to choose from. The first one is to move. And to move, what you do is you just have your feet there, and you just flick them around the city using your finger. Ciao! Now, the tricky part is that, let's get this guy out of the way, you'll see that the, the bottom floor of these buildings is double-sided tape stuck down. So, it, I mean, you're going to ricochet off these things and bounce off them as you're going around the city. Now, looking close, you'll see that each city, each building's got a sidewalk around it. And if your feet are touching the sidewalk when you finish your move, you can do your second action, which is to demolish. So come over here. The way you demolish is, you hold your dinosaur at arm's length above your feet, and just let her go. Uh, the third action you can do is you can throw a vehicle. Now, throwing a vehicle, you have to be in the same neighborhood as a car. So you see there's a blue car in this gray neighborhood, so my dinosaur is allowed to throw it. So I put that on top of my head and flick it off. Oh, I didn't even hit the board then. Let's try this one. Ah, oh, forget it. So you can throw vehicles, and what you want to do is hit the other buildings, ideally even hit the other players. The last action you can do is a, uh, is a blow action, and it's probably the most controversial because I don't know, I, I, I didn't realize dinosaur is blue. Okay, so you've taken your actions and now it's time to eat. Now, eating is really easy. What you do is, um, any building level that isn't weighed down by a meeple, you eat. So I'm gonna eat that one, I'm gonna eat that one, I'm probably gonna eat that one as well. Oh, and that one. And they're each worth a set number of points. The next thing you do is, depending how many teeth you have, so you see this, this smiling character here has got six teeth total, 
he's gonna eat six people that are in his neighborhood. So the blue guy here is gonna eat, there's really, there's, there's nobody, there's this, nobody in the neighborhood, there's one person that they can eat that's not weighed down, or maybe two. So they eat these two people and they put them in your guts as well. The last thing you do is that you can attack your other monsters, as I mentioned before. So if you knock over another monster, what you do is you, you knock out one of their teeth. Or if you accidentally, when you're doing your move action, flick out of the city, one of your teeth just falls out. Now for every teeth that you eat from hurting another monster, you bang that into your guts as well. Now scoring points is probably one of the things that people complain about with this game because it kind of doesn't make sense. Look, for every tooth that you eat, you get two points. For every floor that you eat, you get one point. So there's, there's not a lot of points in these when you consider that eating six of the same color gets you ten points. Now that's kind of the funny bit. You're gobbling up guys all over the city, but if you've only gobbled five, you get nothing. If you gobble six, you get ten, you get seven, still ten. And there's only uh, 15 of each color, so it's, it's not exactly easy to get two sets of these, you know, guys to score 20 points. It, it's tricky, but it's not really a deal breaker, because who cares if you win or lose? It's more about just having fun and smashing up the city. So what do we think? Uh, definitely, I would recommend this game if you're up for a bit of a silly time, or if you've got young kids that like to play games. Like I said, it's not exactly competitive. It's not a kind of thing you're going to bet money on, because the scoring is a bit weird at the end. Um, there is, it is a lot of fun just playing around, flicking these things around, smashing each other, knocking each other off the board. And, you know, if you're up for that kind of thing, I'd recommend it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to contact me directly, you can get me at Smashing Plastic on Twitter or just shoot me an email at uh, smashingplastic at gmail.com. Um, we'd love it if you left some comments down below. That really helps us out with getting some visibility or even sharing the video for us. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the 1st and 15th of every month. Bye.